Huh? Why is Venus called the morning star or evening star? When seen from Earth, Venus is the third brightest natural object in the sky after the sun and the moon. Ancient civilizations noticed that Venus was a regular feature either just huh? before dawn or just after dusk. Because of its striking visibility during these times, they associated it with the idea of a star heralding the arrival of the sun or accompanying its departure. Although Venus is a planet, its behavior and brightness earned it the nickname of a morning star or evening star in many cultures. Hmm. Huh? Why is Mercury not tidally locked? Mercury is not tidally locked to the Sun because it is in a 3 by 2 orbital resonance. This means that Mercury rotates three times on its axis for every two orbits it makes around the Sun. This prevents Mercury from being locked in a single face towards the Sun. The reason for this is Mercury's elliptical orbit around the Sun. This orbit causes its speed to vary significantly, thus preventing it from being fully tidally locked. Mm. Why are some planets called terrestrial? The word terrestrial comes from the Latin word terra, which means Earth. Terrestrial planets are made of rocks and metals and have a central metallic core surrounded by a mantle of silicate rocks and minerals. The mantle is usually the largest part of the planet by volume. Terrestrial planets also have landforms like cliffs, valleys, volcanoes, and craters. The four terrestrial planets in our solar system are the four innermost planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Hmm. Huh? What color is Jupiter? Firstly, the color of Jupiter changes with storms and wind in its atmosphere. White huh? spots indicate cool storms. Brown spots indicate warm storms and red spots indicate hot storms. Secondly, Jupiter's outer atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, with huh? small amounts of other elements like water droplets ice crystals and ammonia crystals. When these elements form clouds, they create shades of white, orange, brown, and red. Mm. How strong is Saturn's gravity? It is not that strong. In fact, even though Saturn is much larger than Earth, its gravity is only a little more as compared to Earth. This is because as compared to Earth, which is solid, Saturn is only made up of gases. This makes Saturn very light for its size. Actually, Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets in our solar system, even lower than the density of water. Hmm. Why is Mars a dead planet? Firstly, Mars's core cooled and solidified too quickly, causing it to lose its magnetic field. Secondly, without a magnetic field, the solar wind stripped away Mars's atmosphere. Thirdly, without an atmosphere, the water on Mars's surface completely evaporated. Lastly, as most of Mars's volcanic and tectonic activity occurred over three billion years ago, it is considered a dead planet now. Hmm. Huh? Why is Mars's atmosphere so thin? The first reason is Mars's low gravity. As a result, Mars is not able to retain gases. They easily escape into space. The second reason is the lack of a strong magnetic field. This leaves Mars's atmosphere vulnerable to the solar wind. The solar wind is a constant stream of charged particles from the sun that gradually remove Mars's atmospheric gases into space. Why is Jupiter called a failed star? To start with, Jupiter is made up of hydrogen and helium, the same elements as our Sun. 
but it is not massive enough to create the internal pressure and temperature needed to fuse hydrogen into helium. Basically, Jupiter would need to be about 75 times more massive to ignite nuclear fusion in its core. Hence, Jupiter is called a failed star, because it has the same ingredients as a star but didn't grow massive enough to ignite. Hmm. What is the Big Bang Theory? No idea about the theory, but the Big Bang looked like this. Oh, um some. The Big Bang Theory states that our universe began from a very hot and compressed point, which is also known as a singularity. Based on estimations, it is said that approximately 13.7 or 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity violently exploded. This explosion is called the Big Bang. Scientists claim that from this explosion or Big Bang, space, time, energy, matter, and then stars, galaxies, humans, etc. came into existence. Hmm. How is a black hole formed? That's so simple. Amsum forms it. Oh, Amsum. In a star, huh? the inward force of gravity is exactly balanced by the outward force created by hot gases and radiation. When the star runs out of fuel, this balance is lost, and the star's core begins to collapse under its own gravity. This collapse causes the outer layers to blow apart in a huge explosion called a supernova. Now, it is estimated that if a star has at least 20 times more mass than our sun, then the star collapses to form a black hole. Why is landing on Mars so difficult? No big deal. Amsum can land anywhere. Huh? Oh, Amsum. More than 50% of landings on Mars have failed. Huh? There are two reasons for this. Firstly, as Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, it does not provide enough air for the parachutes to blow up and land safely. Hence, we need complex retro rockets to land on Mars. Secondly, even though Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, it is still capable of creating friction. Hence, we need additional heat shields to protect the rockets. As a result, the complexity of landing on Mars increases. Hmm. How is the moon formed? Simple. Amsum built it brick by brick. Oh, Amsum. According to the giant impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm.